and famine Natural disasters My baby has been around for me Kingdoms have fallen Angels be calling None of that could ever make me leave Every time I look into your eyes I see A very special thank you to our sponsor of the day, David Archie, for hooking my wife and I up with these super comfortable flannel soft plush long hooded bathrobes. These came just in time for the holidays. Ladies, these are the perfect gift for your man. And as you can see, they're unisex, so you can sort of indirectly gift them to yourself. Now we're just moving into our new house. The black robes were the perfect touch to make it feel more like a home. I never really owned a robe before and only wore them in hotels, so I'm not gonna lie. They got the graves I was feeling like a five-star hotel. The material is so quality, I guarantee you your girls, wife, daughter, even the dog is gonna want to cuddle with you. David Archie's website has a lot for the fellas, like boxer briefs, socks, thermals, and so much more. You should definitely head over to davidarchie.com and take advantage of their Black Friday sale coming up. I'll make sure to link them in the description below. Good morning, Grace House. <laughs> I hope everybody's having an amazing morning. It is a beautiful morning in the Grace House. And today we thought we'd bring you our morning routine as a family. So we're just going to go through our routine and show you what a normal morning is like in the Grace House. So love, 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 so love. So Javon actually just took over the feeding and I think he's about to go get her dressed. So it's just about like multitasking for us and teamwork. If I'm feeding, Javon knows he can go in the bathroom and do like his hygiene for the morning and then we'll switch. Then he'll take over the feeding and I'll do it. So it's just about like teamwork for us. So another thing we try to do is just go ahead and throw on dinner, especially if it's something like what we're making now, we're making a pot roast. It's gonna take a couple of hours to get finished anyway. So just go ahead and put that on a crock pot now. That way it has all day to cook and then finish the rest of our morning routine. And change her clothes. We use the Pamper Pure diapers on her. These are really absorbent and we tried the Huggies brand. We didn't end up liking it, so we stuck with the Pampers. We also use Pamper Pure wipes on her. Um, we tried Huggies and it ended up like giving her really bad diaper rash, so we just stick beside Pampers. So our daughter is, let's see, she's almost three months now. She has been sleeping probably in four to five hour stretches throughout the night. She only wakes up twice. She wakes up once between the hours of like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and then again between like 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m. So she's doing really good with sleeping, but the first couple months are rough, y'all. Y'all know we did that 24 hours with a newborn video, and y'all saw the reel, and it definitely gets better. If your baby's tummy is ever like round and looks like it's full of air, then you can help them get it out because they might be irritated by that. And to do that, all you do is just put their legs in like this bicycle motion, pull them out. And y'all heard that little swoosh was her 
you know, pushing some stuff out. Let's try it again. Ooh, girl, you stinky, stinky, stinky. You stinky, stinky, stinky. Ooh, yeah, she's good. Woo! So I know y'all saw me and Javon feeding her this morning. To feed her, we used the Philip Avent bottles. Um, those are what works best on her. When she was a newborn, newborn, she definitely struggled with like an upset stomach all the time. She always had a lot of air in her stomach. And it was because the bottles we, we were using weren't the best for her. So the Philip Avent ones kind of reduce like the amount of air that can go into the bottles, which reduces the amount of air that goes into your baby. So we stuck beside those and she is breastfed. I pump exclusively, so she is getting breast milk. And she's a happy, chunky girl. She has gained so much weight, y'all. Like, we were looking at older pictures of her, or younger pictures of her, I should say, and she was so skinny, but now she's got some rules. I gotta do her hair. Now you have some rules, you're stinky. Hi, say good morning. <laughs> say good morning. You got my hair, y'all. Don't do me right now. Thankfully, Javon and I both work from home, so we're able to Ooh, girl. Y'all don't even want to know what's going on. But we're able to both parent. I mean, everybody's situation is different. But I don't know how I would I would have done it without him. Because it's a lot, y'all. Like, seriously, it is a lot. And if you are a single parent, shout out to you. Because you deserve all the awards, all the flowers. Because this thing is not easy. And I could not imagine doing it alone. So I'm just very thankful for my husband. Because he is a thousand percent, like... He go hard for his baby. Are you looking at the camera? You were just looking at the camera. You're all dressed. Let's get this hair together. The hair, girl. The hair, girl. You got like this whole situation going on. We have to. It's this is Genesis' designated spot on the couch. She's got this little like donut that we put her on and she loves this spot. So Javon is getting dinner ready in advance. He's putting it in the crock pot. And I think we're going to do some of our word because of course y'all know we've got to start the morning off right. Getting into our word, our bag, and our Bible. So I'll see y'all at Bible study. Uh, so just to wrap up our morning, but also just to start off our day, uh, we like to come in and do a little bit of Bible study. Now I will say um, the most important scripture I feel like and I think it's just the most relevant, especially to today, is seeking the kingdom first and all things will be added onto your life. Yeah, that's a deep scripture for real. It's a scripture that I think I've held on to, to for, you know, years and it really got me through some really dark times. Um, it kept me optimistic and hopeful about the future and it also just simplified like the tasks that I felt like I needed to accomplish and had all these goals. I want to accomplish this by this, time in my life or by this age and then you get overwhelmed it's like okay where do I start you know I want I want to clear debt and have a 700 plus credit score yeah. when you when you, my credit score was six you know what I'm saying probably lower than that we know that's not the point you had just a lot of goals and a lot of vision for your life but you didn't know where to start and I think like the best advice you can give anybody who's trying to obtain a lot in life is seeking the kingdom before anything. And what does that mean, right? right. What does seeking the kingdom mean? Um, to me, you know, it just always meant uh, learning every day, seeking God first mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and seeking his favor first before anything else. And his wisdom. Sometimes we have like an end goal. We're like chasing cars or we're chasing a home or we're chasing a dollar amount. And I think like in the process, like God knows what you need, right? Like God has it all written out for your life. He knows exactly what you need when you need it. And what you need to understand is those things come in time and those things come during the process. But like sometimes we don't like the process. So I think that, you know, it just in seeking the kingdom, it was always an important task for me to do because it was the most important task that I had of the day. Mm it made everything else seem a lot easier. I might not have figured out how to clear my debt that day, you know, but I know that God's hand is on my life because I sought him first. Yeah. So I know that the answer to my problems are on their way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or I know that it's being worked out. Even in a supernatural, yeah. God is outside of time. And so I might not have physically uh, worked out all the problems in my life, but I know that God now, and I feel confident in that, that God is working on it. And he's doing stuff in 
indirect ways that I would have never been able to do anyway because I'm only one person. And I think I think my confidence grew the most when my confidence in God grew. Like when I knew, like God's got my back. God's got my back. I walked different. I talked different. That all came from taking the step of seeking the kingdom in the morning, before everything else, before all the daunting tasks of the day, before you're called here, there, and everywhere. Having that quiet time with God, especially as a family, is so, so, so important. What we try to advocate in the Graves house is like the importance of putting God above all and having him in the center of everything, the center of our marriage, the center of how we parent, the center of our family as a whole. Like God is going to be the firm foundation. All right, so John 1, this is in the gospel, right? In the beginning was the word. Now, off rip right now, what I get is that Two times, and one other time in the Bible, God goes back to the beginning, and that's in Genesis, right? In the beginning, da 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 da. John starts off with in the beginning and reaffirms that in the New Testament. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made, right? So, what I get from that is that everything is made through God anyway. So by seeking God, all of the, the problems and all the solutions and all the things that you want are in God. Mm, yeah. It all starts there. There yeah. is no there is no other way to get there. You know, and if you do get it, it's not sustainable, mm. right? It's not it's not the right type of success, right? That's you, the key. You want good success. You want good health. You want good things. You seek God first and then in that it'll direct you to the proper way of solving and I that think problem, what not loses, being reactive. What loses a lot of people is when you do seek the kingdom and you go, God's route is longer, it's harder, right? It, it, it's more frustrating. But after that, there is longevity attached to that. There's true peace and yeah. inner fulfillment attached to that because it's from God. Exactly. You'll know if it's from God if there is this inner peace, this calmness, this stillness, this fulfillment that you get. But if it's not from God, you always just feel a little bit like, even you can obtain everything you want in life and then still be like, is this it? Because it sets us up for a productive and successful rest of our day. Um, and actions like these every day lead to a successful and productive life. Yes. So we just want to pray for you real quick, family. Um, and just encourage you for today and cover you in the blood. Father God, we just come before you on today, lifting up everybody, Lord, everybody under the sound of my voice. Father God, we thank you for directing us on today, for protecting us, for dispatching your angels all around the world concerning us, Lord. I pray for anybody in need, whether that's physical, mental, financial, spiritual, that you meet them exactly where they are, Lord. Let their souls rest in you on today and feel comfort and feel peace and feel fulfillment through the power of the Holy Spirit. We pray over their week. We pray over their family. We pray over their cars that everything is protected and covered by you. We pray over their jobs. We pray over their minds, Father God. Everything that is of them, every part of their life, Lord, we just pray that you cover them. We pray that you cover their homes and protect them, Lord, that no evil seen or unseen shall enter into their home. And we just thank Thank you, Lord. Thank you that we, we have the opportunity to be a part of this kingdom, to be a part of this family, Lord, the family that you have created for us. So we just thank you, Lord. We honor you. We praise you. We lift our friends up and thank you for them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Thank y'all for watching this video. If y'all want more of these, make sure you let us know in the comments. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, all that stuff. And we'll see y'all next video. Shine bright like this often. Love pouring out like a faucet. Revive it in me. That pain make you cautious. And my shoes, they got mileage. My back on the wall, and I'm still standing tall. Cause even in the darkness, I can see what's for me.